Greetings and welcome to today's Hearts of Iron 4 video. In today's video I'm going to show you the actual strength of volunteer forces and how even as a minor nation you can totally change the outcome of the Spanish Civil War. For this we will play the best nation to do it, Portugal. So let's go. Let's go. So here we are as tiny little Portugal. First of all we will of course select every single division we have and switch it to the smallest template we have. Then what we're going to do is we'll build a lot of military factories. Our entire production will only go into guns. And also I want to have an actual name in this run, so we will also produce submarines, two of them, and the remaining docket I will use for convoys. As first focus we will select popular front. And since in my production I am lacking a bit of steel, I will import some from mm, France. And for my research slot, since I only have two research slots, I will still use them just for the standard industrial stuff. So with that, we have everything. Let's go! Oh, what I'm going to do is here with three of my divisions I have in the field, I will switch them back to my actual division template. And we are going to put like 20 divisions more into training with the small template. First focus completed, next focus, nation in arms. And for the next focus we will do nationalized industry because Syrian factories are always helpful. Especially now since we are importing stuff. With having reached 20 command power what we will do is we will hire the offensive guy as chief of army because first of all I need army experience and second of all division attack is always useful. Oh, and there's the Spanish Civil War. Perfect stop in the right moment. So for the next focus, when we have nationalized industry done, we will of course support the Spanish Republic. We are going to become communists. And since we've reached now five arm experience, what we are going to do is we will reduce our small template even more, that we get some more infantry equipment back. The only thing that matters in this one is that we have a high number of divisions into the field. So it's time that we support the Spanish. Also which could be useful is extending our main force, our main template. Adding some more infantry companions in it. Now with that focus completed we can now send volunteer forces to Spain. And I think now is the perfect moment to explain what I'm actually doing here. So you see normally as an online country we can't send any volunteer forces into a foreign nation because we don't have the game rule for it. Now we do have the game with it and normally we can only send like 3 divisions with the standard amount of troops we have into the field. However, since I've placed now many small divisions into the field, we can send now even more. Actually now we can send 7 divisions over to Spain. For the big amount of troops we have into the field instead of only 3. For every 20 divisions we have into the field we can send 1 extra volunteer force to Spain. So I take now 4 of my normal troops, so I take now 4 of my smaller troops, put them into the main army, switch into the bigger template and now we can send them over to Spain. Hi it's Mia from editing and what I unfortunately don't have in the video because spoiler I won the Spanish Civil War quickly from volunteer forces. If the nationalist AI reaches August 1938 they normally, they usually complete the focus Portuguese aid, which gives us as Portugal, even though we have sent it volunteer forces to the opposite side to the Republicans, a national suite which allows us to send another three volunteer forces over to Spain, even though the event text says the national shouldn't be able to complete this focus, they can complete the focus in August 1938. And this national spirit also doesn't expire for another three years, so Probably what is possible then for us as Communist Portugal is, after the Spanish Civil War is over, we can send to both France and also the UK, when World War II starts, to both countries over 10 volunteer forces. So if you want to do that, don't win the Spanish Civil War until August 1938, then you can actually do it yourself. And while we are here in the edit, speak a bit more freely, 
If you like my Hobby 4 videos and want to see more of them in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Also, in general, for you, it's just a little click, but for me, it helps a lot. Okay, back to the video. And the next focus, the stupidest thing you could actually do is focus of Iberia Unite, because then you get dragged into a civil war with yourself as Portugal and also against the big nationalist front. Don't do that. Never ever do that in any circumstances. Just send volunteers to win the war. Especially while the Spanish have the state modifiers everywhere with unplanned offensive. We don't. We get overrun by the nationalists. And support with half of our country. So instead we will just do some industrial stuff. And our troops have arrived. And now what I told you, Armland Offensive is a big struggle we have with Spain. So there's one thing we have to do. We have to search for states which don't have the state modifier Armland Offensive. Because there we can normally do a regular fight. In that case the AI has decided to have the state modifier for Sevilla. So we will just send all of our forces to Sevilla. Unfortunately we can only fight there until the Spanish AIs select another state to do it. And since we are in Spain, I guess the best thing we can do is having some mountaineers then later. So we will research them and then we will switch some of our forces to mountaineers. Spain is full of mountains. Ooh, and we have kept it Seville. So we can actually now try to make an encirclement around Cadiz. And we should promote the general. How about this guy? Fernando Diaz. He will lead our volunteer forces in Spain. Seville so captured, no, Cadiz captured as well. And the IS decided as next state modifier to remove unplanned offensive from Extremaduras. Exactly what we can need now. Make even bigger and soccer here in the south. So let's try to give. So let's try to go for a color bar. Nicaragua said is selling some guns on the indigenous market, so we will buy them all of them. Color bar no longer has armed defenses as well, so I guess soon enough we can destroy a lot of troops down here. That's why I'm focusing on this tile. Let's focus. Right away for the fourth research slot. Who went this? Spanish anarchist has risen up, but it doesn't matter though. Only thing I'm focusing here is first of all the nationalists. The Spanish anarchists are an easy target, anyways. There's a big encirclement. How many troops are those? Uh, could be nearly 10. I want to attack here because I'm not offensive, there's no point in doing so. The Republican divisions were unable to hold the railway over here, so now we would suffer too much impact, too much attrition if we keep fighting up here. So they just retreat before the encirclers completely. We weren't even fully encircled, but we were unsupplied. Then the losses are much higher. We can now deploy 20 more divisions into the field. So now we should be able to send one more volunteer force. Uh, not fully, we need still a bit more. And now since I have researched my pop research slot, now it's time to turn communist. My mountain is finally able to do an encirclement. We have one Italian mountaineer in it and one, or minimum one, maybe even two German tank divisions. So now it's time to clear them up. Wait, has this division just fully died by this attack? Oh yeah. The nationalists are so close to capitulation. I mean, they are 75%. Soon enough we have captured La Coronia, we have captured nearly Vigo. When we have Pamplona, Huesca and Zaragoza, it is over. Bilbao is not a new capital, not because it is even a national state, but just because of its their highest victory point. 
Ooh. And now the Nationalists are finally gone, so I did only in February 1938. So now only the anarchists are remaining. But if we take up Barcelona and Girona, it's over for them as well. And now we are finally communists. We weren't even communists before. But since we are now communists, we can sense two volunteer forces more. Let's just take over the Dorsa to make another encirclement. Perfect. Barcelona is pretty free. I like how the Soviets have only sent it six forces while I have nine. As the way much smaller country as I am. Ooh, Spain is even naval raiding the anarchists from the east because they don't like them so much. They weren't even doing that against the nationalists. And that's the Spanish Civil War. We even we even managed to bring our level 1 general up to level 4. So let's see. We can bypass this focus. We can now do this focus. Hopefully the Spanish like us enough. And Spain has accepted. We are now the Iberian Socialist Union. Unlike the national Spain has only its course in mainland Spain. The Republic of Spain has course in mainland Spain and Spanish Africa and the Anarchist, the regional defense council of Aragon only has its course in Morocco and Western Sahara. Also I like how only the Iberian Union is calling state of Gibraltar and the other Spains are not. So now we know Gibraltar is rightful Portuguese territory. Well that would at least explain why the national team of Gibraltar is playing its soccer games in Faro. And this is also something what I hate about this focus tree, that cooperate with French militants will be automatically bypassed. Of course, normally the game expects us that we do join the common term or do the popular front block only after World War II happens. But as you can see we are much faster and World War II is uh, even more than one year from now on. That is so annoying. And then why is this focus on the game? Why? Should I now align with Japan and fight against China or what is their plan? I don't really get it. I think what we can do now is since soon enough we will go to war with the United Kingdom. But I will wait after France has fallen. We can encircle Gibraltar and destroy all the troops down here. We found a lot of war score and also make the UK a lot weaker. And as soon as Belgium falls, I will start justification on the UK. So exactly now. Let's just make a justification our core state on the brother. We take core. Justification is ready, but I still want France to fall. I guess now is the perfect time to declare war, even though France has not fallen yet, but even if they invade me, <clears throat> they don't have the time to take anything of my core states. So as always when we have a port encircled, we just take all of our troops. And when the UK or any... Now we can delete some troops in there. So just control and right click and we will delete it but not take it. Oh, and we even have naval supremacy. That is... That is great. So we make a support naval invasion and we will appoint uh, an admiral. Ooh, and the Soviets are sending volunteers. Uh, who I want to accept. Thing is, if I do accept, they could take over Gibraltar. Otherwise, my army is, to be honest, not the strongest because I don't have that many equipment. The landed here in Scotland. And I hear naval invasion sound. Where are they naval invading? Ah, uh, yeah, over here. That is not so great, but to be honest, this is 20 million times better than that they are naval invading me in Scotland or something. Yeah, they could do actual damage. Here they don't. And finally destroyed it, so soon enough. 
Yeah, this is a very smart move to let Hal Am defend it. Hello, British forces. Let's get deleted. They're pushing us back in Wales, but now where we have out of finally, this will change in the biggest time. Your troops have arrived in Gibraltar. Can we take over this port? London is finally in circuit and we can farm the entire ball score until mid-1931. Now it's only all about ability the last remaining troops in Plymouth. How much do I have at this point? Uh, I have 30%. So we have to lead some more troops. And we also finally taken over the north here. The United Kingdom is now raiding us in Scotland, so we have cleaned it up. Instead of any British forces who are left to defend the capital, now they have to rely on exiled forces from Yugoslavia. The only thing with this for me really impressive is that Greece is still alive. We even have Italy declared war on them like um, more than seven months ago. Greece is still there. They survive. Oh, naval invasion, naval invasion, where's the naval invasion? What on earth? And Japanese are now declaring on the Philippines, so... Now they are both the United States. Next what Japan is going to do is they will declare war on the Dutch East Indies and Malaya, so... We have to end it now here. Otherwise we would be at war with the United States and I don't want that. Well, well, we have killed over 750,000 British forces. Also we have killed the second most of all French. It is what it is. So let's take all of them. And that is where we go. At least we got the second highest amount of war scores. So what we are going to do is we will puppet France in one cheap state. The rest we will just take over manually in the next. Oh, and we should also retake our core state over here in Gibraltar. It only costs one. So that's the peace conference. Well, that's the peace conference. We got a nice British puppet over here because I puppeted them in the Isle of Man and returned all the territory back to them. Unfortunately, though, we haven't got. France because the Germans had decided to change the government over here. So this was then the original France and VC France annexed it. So we only got a civil war tech France. So what we could do at this point then if you would continue this game first of all we would have to fight against the Japanese by just integrating and taking over the British fleet and then we could naval raid Japan and then we only have to fight against the Americans. And this would be it then. That would be the entire game. But we stopped the video at this point. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Because this would help me a lot. And for you, it's just a simple click. And also, a friend of mine and I have opened up a Discord server. So if you want to chat about Hoi 4 stuff or whatever, join my Discord server. Link in the video description. So that is today's video and I hope I see you soon enough in the next video. Bye!